But poop, basic, basic poop is not a private thing. Okay. We got to get the poop out in the open. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's kind of a surprising thing for a lot of people who, who try out to be vegans and all of a sudden they, they actually their stomach for it. I can't even talk about that subject because I, maybe, maybe I'm too schooled, maybe I'm too old, I don't know. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs>
uh, ginger there. Yeah. But it has, has some kick and, and it's like... Um, you can almost add a jalapeno to it too to like... like I like it, but it, I'm yeah. from Finland, yeah. man. So, <laughs> so we got weird taste of things. Okay, so a rutabaga I've never had before. And this is good. But this you, is you, like, know, you know the kick? Yeah, 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 kind of like a spice. spicy, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Have some more, we'll make some yeah, more. Yeah, of course, of course. So, so tell me, uh, why are you in LA? What did we, what did we just do the other day? Uh, the 69 eyes uh, just returned to the States after 10 years. Yeah. And we did an amazing six week tour, and we're gonna have a new album out called West End. Like, yeah, uh, it comes out in uh, 30th, of course, Friday the 30th of September. Now, West End, tell me about that title. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's why I'm here. We did a music video with uh, Donnie Will yesterday. Yes. He's gonna be on the record. Uh, uh, the song that he's gonna be on, it's called Two, Ho Where is it? Two Horns, Two Horns. Two Horns up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it's just a, like a metal anthem from our end. Um, We've been friends with uh, with Donny Phil for like couple like two decades. So so I was about to say yeah. I, I saw the sixty nine eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought oh, yeah. it, I thought it was more than ten years ago. No, yeah, it was probably fifteen years. Yeah, ago about probably about like fifteen years yeah, yeah. ago yeah. in yeah. Orlando, Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah I remember and that show. you all opened up yeah. for Cradle of Film. Yeah, yeah, and then we we've been friends before that, and uh, so no, so, was so tell me about that. Well, like how how did how did you all drinking bodies? <laughs> How, like how did how uh, how did you all meet and, uh, and uh, I was I was I was like uh, in the, in the mid nineties I was DJing in Helsinki a lot so I just I, I whenever there was a band that I was interested in I, I called the club like and telling like hey by the way I'm coming to DJ so that's how once there was Cradle of Two and I, I met the guys and uh, of course I'm a big fan of their music they're one of the you know they they have so much in them, like if you look at the lyrics, like what an amazing stories each song mm -hmm. are. And um, Don is of course like a real cool rocker, speaking now from my own point. I'm, I'm just a fanboy for movies, pop culture and so on. And I, I'm lucky enough to have, you know, be part of that by like creating something by myself. Or maybe maybe I reach the people who have the same taste as I do. Sure. And I've been reaching them and I'm happy to share this wonderful lifetime in this planet with the with the cool hey, we need more. We need more. Yeah, I'm 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 let's yes. let's juice another. Yes please. Like the album uh, West End is like a, there are some classic movie songs of the 69 Eyes, like Outsiders, and actually, like, a, we have a horror punk song called uh, The Last House on the Left with Wednesday 13. Oh. Uh, Calico Cooper from Visto Blanco is there, and also like Donny awesome. Filth. Yeah. So it's kind of like a feast of friends, having friends over on the album. That's, that's fantastic. And, but, and, and the title, like you asked actually a little bit earlier, it's like sort of like, um, it's pretty cryptic. Like, like, are we in the end of the West? What's going on? We're living in so chaotic world. So it's like... Um, so it's uh, like a metaphor for the, uh, yeah, for yeah. the, the, the Western, like the like, uh, de, de, de decline of the Western culture. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy the chaos and, and darkness in the world. But on the other hand, you know, like sometimes I feel like this, you know. So, any other uh, songs that are highlights uh, on the album? The album? Uh, well, um, the first song we did and the single that came out, it's called 27 I'm Done. Oh. And actually, it's all about you guys. As I've been looking after, like, we go out pretty often sometimes. Well, kind of. Yeah, 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 actually, yeah, actually we down. hang out here in Hollywood and. Hollywood is a, it's a evil place, it's a dangerous place and uh, I've just noticed that sometimes people, and especially with social media, people come out, uh, come up really desperate of if nothing happens now or even for a while. So 27 and done is kind of like a, I, I would say it's a celebrating song of, of how the things are here, but it's just a rocker, but there's a little, little, um, 
let's say, dark humor point. Sure, you, you, you turn 27, yeah. and, uh, and some you, if, people if you don't, you people haven't go crazy. Hap yeah, if you haven't happened by then, then you're done. Sure. <laughs> and uh, so that's the first single. Then there's another single which is which comes out in the Christ, uh, Christmas, summertime. Uh, <laughs> summertime uh, called Cheyenne, which is like about a female ghost rider fighting there, and uh, when and um, the usual sixty nine eyes shit. Uh, What's the that, song with uh, Calico? Oh, that's the the uh, last house on the left, which is classic West Craven. Um, movie that I just always loved the title, so it was time to be used. And Wednesday 13 wrote amazing uh, like storyline into the song. And in the in the middle part, like if you know about the movie, the original one, or or even the remake, which I really like, uh, it, there's a storyline, and 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 the female gets. Uh, revenge in the song, so yeah, it's, it's just just the usual. But on the other other hand, nobody's doing that, you know, except us. Yeah, no, so it sounds like a great mix of people. Uh, Wednesday 13 people are awesome, and the Vista yeah. Blanca people yeah, are yeah. really awesome. Uh, but that's that's good times in the end. Like like okay, West End and uh, Chaos and everything. But I think we're 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 a little cool time. And, and the 69 Eyes, I think it's our best at the moment. I mean, we've done this three decades, and uh, I'm not a young boy anymore, but I was once. But, um, and I haven't learned anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I think as a band, we are at our best at the peak at the moment. And I, I, if I say that the new album is the best record we've ever done, I, I sincerely believe that from my heart. It's and that's how it should be, right? I mean, yeah. if we're growing as people, we're growing as musicians. Yeah. Then, uh, then, then why why should we get worse yeah, as we look get older? Look at the Rolling Stones, man. Like, they are like yeah. coolest. And besides, I guess today, I, it was big head like the Beatles played Helter Skelter in Hollywood. <laughs> Did you see that? No, no, no. I, that's I, that's I, insane. I, I, uh, yeah, so, yeah. So I mean, it's it's all good, man. It's rock and roll, and it, it's 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 alive and uh, it's happening, and uh, everybody's welcome to join the club. Uh, so, how has the you've been you've been making music for a long time now, and yeah, touring yeah. around the world for for a long time? How have you seen the music industry change throughout that time, and how does it affect you, and how does it affect your fans? Well, I mean, if you think of thirty years, so we we started. We were an 80s band, oh. glammy 80s band. I mean, I, I was as a teenager roaming the streets of New York when CBGBs was still there, Lime Light, uh, Johnny Thunders, uh, the Ramones, everything like that. So that was my inspiration, and I wanted to wanted to be like that. Wanted to have a band like that, and then. You know, over the years, there's a lot of things which have come back and forward and, and happened, but everything has been inspiring us. And recently, as we were absent from the States, like 10 years, I've been saying that we missed celebrate, celebrate the DJs and Jersey Shore. So that's not that much, man. Even though all of them are cool stuff in their own ends, and I've been entertained by all of that. But yeah. still, you know, like... and and. You know, like um, some things don't change, and uh, well, yeah. So, but rock and roll is still here; it's alive, and uh, I hope there's gonna be more. And I, I hope truly that there will be one day some young, energetic, cool band that takes us our place, so I can retire at some <laughs> like at that in, before like dying with the boots on, which I don't mind. So what uh what would you say as a as a as a young band coming up now, what would you say would be a really good strategy for them? What, what should they focus on? What should they uh, what should they do to make it in this new Le learn, weird music industry? Yeah, learn the history of rock and roll. Pick up the the the, the original essence and uh, um, and trust in that. Trust in the original essence of rock and roll. Yeah, that's that's, uh, that's, that's their. That's solid advice, actually. That's not the advice that I go, would have ever thought about. Go, go to the original solid. roots. Elvis, Chuck Berry, Jerry Lee Lewis, 
understand why why that revolution happened mm. and start your own revolution. I don't think it could be said anybody. Yeah, yeah, that's something. Thank you, Yerky, for coming on out and uh, cool. and and giving Can me I have time. some more, please? Have I some more. Let's finish this up. Yeah. And thanks for talking about your new yeah, album yeah, and yeah, your no problem, new uh, no your new video. Yeah. And can't wait to hear more, see more, check Thank out you. the Thank check you. out the whole thing. I have to come up with other recipes because I want to be like a regular guest in your show. You're, well, you're welcome back anytime. Extra special thanks to Brittany Page of Banshee Productions for introducing us and bringing us together. I'll put our Instagram link below.